What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're back with some more NCAA 06 with the Indiana Hoosiers. And they should have never let him go. They, they, they should have kept him. They should have done something to, to persuade him. But Dortch, he left the Buckeyes a couple years ago. And this year, he got a chance to play against his old team. And he had a pretty solid game on the defensive side of the ball. And, of course, we got that win. Can we keep the winning ways going? Man, we are kind of... A team that has an outside chance to maybe creep back into the national championship picture. So that would be a good look. Today we're going to be taking on Minnesota. We've got a couple of recruits coming for this game. Hopefully we can get all three to sign on that dotted line. We're looking at two tackles. So I'm going to have one tackle come this game versus Minnesota. Then I'm going to wait another week or two to have Joe Johnson, who's another tackle to come when we play Penn State. So two games in this episode. We're going to have Minnesota and then Illinois. Minnesota has given us a fit in the past. Their ground attack is pretty good. They always got horses in the stable. They always seem to have an impact player at the running back spot that can get the job done. Is our defense built this time around to shut that kind of attack down? We're going to see. First down and 10. We're going to run the ball. No, play fake. Looking downfield for Mahler. Brings it in. Big time catch right there. Look at the spin move. Absolutely filthy and that's gonna result in a first down now we're gonna run that option attack with miller when he can pass it and run it he is a deadly dual threat option baby we're gonna run the ball for him and he's gonna pick up the first down by the hairs of his chinny chin chin looking downfield is miller lets that thing fly touchdown muller in the end zone perfect pass and we are up seven nada just like that second down and eight they run the ball and the ball is loose and Dorch is there. This man, I'm telling you, the 6'6 six, six strong safety is an absolute monster. Monster, Wayne. Miller, looking to the end zone. Put another one up on the board. Touch down. 13 nothing tackle on the PAT. It's 14 nothing. They get the ball to White. We even threw traffic. And he's going to pick up the first first down for the Golden Gophers today. Hicks dropping back. Hicks gets hit as lets it fly. Caught by Harris. And Hicks is a little bit shaken up. You hate to see it. Third down and seven more. Going to roll out almost through a Yahoo Zahar to your boy. But we are unable to hang on to that pass. But look at the spin move. And then just the agility. The pick up three. It could have been very easily a loss of five on that play. As Jones comes across the middle. So good back-to-back -back plays. Has us looking up at a first down. Fresh set of ten, if you will. We're going to run the ball to the left side. And he's going to pick up a first down. Miller's going to roll right. Looking for Mahler. He's been doing it all day. You better cover him with your best corner because he's a problem. He's a problem. Going to pitch that thing. The ball is loose. Parm is there to recover the fumble. So third down and eight. Now Miller looking downfield. And that pass will fall incomplete, unfortunately. We have to set up for a field goal. The kick is up. And the kick is going to be good. So 17 nothing is now the score. If they can run the football, which they haven't really been able to so far today, it might be out of the picture. Now, I'm not against running the football when you're down double digits, but I'm just saying most, most teams are. But they do run the ball with White right there. They pick up a first down. They give it to him again. Look out. Shafano going to lay you down nice and slow. They run the ball again. Dorch off of the edge. You know I like to send my DBs on blitzes. We call a good one there, and that's going to result in a small little pickup. Third down, Williams makes the catch, but not inbound, so get off the field. Then out that gut. Parham, he's going to pick up a decent game, and that's going to do it for the first quarter of play. So third down in inches, we're going to work upfield, pick up a first down, and we're in golden goal for territory just like that. So back up a little bit on third down and 13. Looking downfield, somebody please guard 17. He's an absolute handful for whoever's on him. So you got to double team him. I'm telling you. And Jones is the best guy on the squad. Impact play at receiver. Absolute monster. I am telling you, these guys know how to ball more. Throws it to White. Breaking all contact. Like I said, they got running backs. Look at this man. Broke about three tackles on that play. First down and 10 to go to play fake. Mm. Just give it to him. Just, 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 just give it to him. My boy Daly off of the edge, bringing the hurt to the quarterback. And then give it to him again, Shafano. Oh, just give it to that quarterback, baby. And we are off the field. No, we're not. Not quite. Third down and 22. I'm getting ahead of myself. They throw it. And it looks like we won't be off the field. So just when you think it's safe to come outside, they hit 
a deep one for a first down. Now it's third and five, and that pass will be broken up by Henry, and just like that, we are off the field. Miller looking downfield, throwing this one to who? Nicholson. He's coming through over the middle. Big time pass play, the big time pass play so far in this one in the first half. Walker, he's getting loose. He breaks a tackle, and we are back in Minnesota territory. We got 12 first downs so far today. We give it right back to Walker, and he's going to walk through traffic just a little bit. We're going to try to set up the option, but they send a blitz our way, and they blow it up in the backfield. So fourth down and two. Perfect pass. An absolutely perfect pass. Now Miller sets up from the pocket, rolls out as we love to do. We throw yet another one. That's another touchdown pass in the first half. Four. He's having a career day. They fumble it. We recover it. Minnesota. It's time to warm up that bus, like for real, for real, player. Miller, he's gonna keep it on the option. He can pitch it if he wants to, but why do it when you can do it yourself? Don't pitch that thing, take it yourself, baby. Miller, he can pitch it or keep it, and this time he makes the right decision because he pitches that thing, and it's gonna be a touchdown. 38 to nothing, and, and there's still another half of football left. They fake it to White, Moore fires it, wide open uh, Quinn, who makes the catch, and that's gonna result in a first down. First down and 10, they fake it. Moore throws it to the right side. It's going to be caught by Holbert, and that's going to result in a first down from the 49-yard line. They get the ball to White again. Okay, so Minnesota's, Minnesota is starting to get things going, starting to get things percolating. They throw it to Ross, the fullback getting loose, brought down by Strafano at the 31-yard line. But now it's third down and 10. We know you, you got to pass it. Give me that Yahoo! Zay, I said, give me that, yeah, give me that user interception. We got this thing on back the other way. Hopefully, Robert Smith is not shaking up too bad. Now, Miller, he's going to keep it. He's going to fall forward for a first down. Get the ball to Walker. Let him get busy, and he does for a gain of around seven. Make it eight. From the 46, give it to Miller. He's going to get stopped just shy of the first down marker. Third down and one. Direct snap to Barham. 96 overall speed. That's too quick. You can't stop him from picking up three feet. It's literally impossible. Miller rolling out under some pressure. Throws in, and that was a nice play by Jackson. Maybe we should have just ate it, threw the ball away. Anyways, it is what it is. We had to throw at least one pick today. That pass is going to go deep, and that pass will fall incomplete. Williams can't hang on to it. But don't give up on him. Touchdown. Just like that, they go right back to Williams, and he gets into the end zone. Beat Dorch on that one. And Minnesota now has seven up on the board. So they're down by 31. We're going to give it to number one, and he's going to pick up the first down with ease. We're going to go with a play fake. Miller's going to roll to the left side. Fires that thing to Jonesy. Jonesy with the good hands like all state. We got ourselves another first down. Second down on four. Give it to Barnes. And Barnes is going to make one guy miss and get up filled with the quickness and has another first down for the Hoosiers. Give it to Barnes again. Spun down. Gain of seven. From the seventh. Second down and three. Let Jones eat in the running game as well. Just let everybody have fun today. Everybody gets to play. Everybody gets to get the ball in their hands. Everybody gets to have fun. White up the gut, still playing hard and picking up a first down. He's going to break a couple more tackles. My gosh. Like I said, like I said, still on his feet. Dorch with the touchdown saving stop as we head to the third quarter. But my gosh, man, that guy is an absolute monster. I'm telling you, Minnesota knows how to recruit running backs. Just today, they weren't able to put it all together unless there's a miracle that I just don't know about. That pass will fall incomplete, and we're going to take over. We got the backups in. Walker, he's technically our backup tailback, but he gets some, you know, playing time off throughout the game. We're going to let him eat just a little bit. He's going to find the lane, and he is loose up to the 45 and drag down at around the 47-yard line. Now it's third down and 11. Anderson looking deep down field and Nicholson goes up top, climbs that ladder and brings it down. Third down and seven now, gonna roll to the left side. Firing it, it's gonna be caught by Nicholson, but might be a little bit shy of the first down. So bring on the kick team and the kick is no good. What's going on, Charles Johnson? We are usually money from there. Now Avery to the right side. He's getting loose. Like I said, man, this team can usually run the football, and right now with their backups in the ball game, they're able to do that. But then we get another sack. That's Bryant coming for you. Second down and 15. More fires that thing. Oh, I should have had another pick. Instead, it's a first down for Minnesota. They're going to run the ball with Avery. He's going to try to turn the corner, but Moody is there to lay him down. Gain of just two. Avery gets the carry again. Shut down by Davis. 
third down and six now from the 37 more under some pressure lets it fly and it's gonna fall in complete fourth and six why not go for it and it's gonna be pitched off of the blockers back and that's not gonna allow them to pick up the first down and we are going to leave this one with the victory so 45 to 7 is the final a great game a great game for us great game by our quarterback man miller showed out that one pick doesn't look good but it really wasn't the hor a horrible read just maybe the pass was not the most accurate we were under the rest there was pressure we were on the run probably could have just took the sack threw the ball away but you know i'm always trying to make a play baby we're always trying to make a play uh, but anyways, man, we had a solid game offensively. Defense, all them did draw thug. Fizzle versus a running back that is usually pretty, pretty scary to opposing defenses. But not today. The Hoogers defense, that black shirt D, was able to do their thing. And we walk out of here with a pretty easy victory. Next week or next game in this video, we're going to be taking on Illinois. Are things going to get easier or a little bit harder? Who knows? But let's see what's going on on the recruiting trail. We got all three guys that came to this game to sign on that line. We got a guy from Alabama, Big Jones, big guard, tackle from, I believe, MI. Is that Minnesota or Michigan? I, I, don't, I really don't know. I couldn't tell you. But Harris, he's coming to town. And then Nolan from Washington, he is coming to town as well. Talking about Washington State. So let's head to that game. The fight in the line, I, they are ranked number 96. We cannot drop this game. We are back in the top five. Like I said, we have a chance, ladies and gentlemen. We have a chance to maybe sneak our way into that national championship game. Our last two games of the season, Penn State and Purdue, that's usually how it goes. Hopefully, we can impress in this game and in those games. But let's see what happens here. Miller, he's going to run the ball, picks up just four. Second down and six. Miller's going to roll to left side. He's going to keep running and keep running, and he picks up the first down. Let's go. First down and ten now. Miller, drop back the pass intercepted and that is not what we want to do throw the ball to the other team in our own territory with momentum still right in the dead center of things all right Taylor he gets brought down by Daly that's what I'm talking about third down and 14 Taylor running for his life nearly throws a pick Dorch is there to bat that thing away send out the kick team and it's 40 51 excuse me 51 yarder is good unbelievable kick right there by the youngster so three nothing we are down miller looking downfield nichols oh my gosh you cannot oh oh my gosh i was gonna say you can't leave him open but you also can't fumble my football and we do recover it so palm to the left side look at that speed i mean my gosh he doesn't really hit like huge huge runs like we, we've had running backs in the past all kinds of series this series uh northern illinois we had some horses in the stable there like but his speed to just get a first down as Mauler makes a beautiful catch as the hit is applied. His speed to get a first down is just top notch. It's, it's hard to stop him. Now Jones on the end of the round says, get off of me, big fella. Touchdown, Indiana. And the Hoosiers are up by four. So seven to three is the score. They fire is going to be caught by Thomas, setting up second down and six from the 39-yard line. Taylor fires it in the traffic, caught by Turner. And that's going to result in a gain of five. So third down and one, and you best watch out. Coming off of the edge, Marvin Hill to smack your quarterback in the face. Now Barnes to the right side. He's going to pick up a gain of eight. Third down and two, and we get shut down, and we will punt the football away. So second down and five, going to send that blitz. Not going to get there, but forces a quick pass. It was actually a screen pass. Usually that works fairly well versus a blitz, but not that time. And then they throw it over the middle, and that pass does nothing for him. So we're going to take over. Jones on the punt return, trying to get busy, fighting for every inch. And I love the effort. So first down and 10. Miller, he's going to keep it. And Miller is loose. Look out. All kinds of speed inside the 20 10 5 touchdown, Indiana. That boy got loose. I mean, all kinds of loose. 56 yard TD run, his longest play no i can't say play but longest rushing attempt of his career so far and the man's just a freshman washington recovers the fumble and yes illinois you could be in some serious trouble miller looking downfield for stone makes the catch as well and we're inside the end zone yet again so 21 to 3 we were just down three nothing a second ago then they throw another pick shafano showing off those hands because he used to play tied in high school i mean you know what they say but, but, I mean, I don't know if he did or didn't. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. All I know is he caught the football, and that's all that matters. Second down, now we're going to run that option, going to pitch that thing, whoop, going back the other way. Weaving through traffic, and then diving to the end zone this par. What 
an athlete at tailback. Second down, or excuse me, first down. I don't know what down it is. Second down and long. That's what it is. Second down and long. It's 28 to 3. That's what really matters. Third down and five now. They fire it. That pass will be caught by Mackey. But it's not going to be enough for a first down. Dortch with the stop. So we're going to roll out with Miller. Looking for who? Jones. Makes the catch. Is he going to make a man miss? Best believe it. Is he going to get loose? Best believe it. Down that left sideline and bumped out of bounds. Just shy of the five. So we're going to run that ball with Barnes. He's going to take it to the crib. And like I said, everybody eats. Everybody eats. Taylor fires that thing. Bobbled in the interceptor by Henry. Get off of me, he says. He's inside the 20. He's going to tiptoe across the goal line. And the route is officially on. We would tell y'all to warm up. Y'all bust, but y'all, you guys are the home team. So we might just warm up our bus. And at some point, to send the starters to the locker room, get changed, washed up, and head to the bus so we can head home early. You feel me? First down and 10, Miller. High snap. Not a good recipe for success. And we go backwards. And it looks like somebody's shaking up as we do get a face mask. Calling it is Miller. So bring in Jordan Anderson, who was our starter. Was he a starter at one point? Like for a game, maybe? Like for a game? Like maybe like a half? I don't know. We had a little bit of quarterback controversy. Then the controversy is done. But Jones makes the catch right there. So Anderson's like, hold on, son. I can still throw this thing. He going to throw this thing deep down the left sideline? Okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. Anderson. Okay. Jordan Anderson with a perfect pass to Jones. And that's going to be a 51 TD pass. And now our lead increases anymore. But look look at that. Look at Turner. 20 10 Touchdown. Okay. So Illinois not going down out of fight. We're going to run this option with Anderson. Pitch it. And he's going to pick up a decent game. Talking about Parham. So second down and two. Anderson looking downfield. Going to roll left. Still rolling. Throwing it deep downfield. And Jones makes another great catch. And he's going to get out of bounds, I believe. Second down. First down, excuse me. Looking downfield. That pass caught by Mahler coming across the middle. Now we're going to have to set up for a field goal with just three seconds left on the clock. And the kick is right down Broadway. 52 points. 52 points. You see it. 52 points. We, we put up 38 on another team, right? 38 on another team on uh, Minnesota. 52 here. I believe my math is correct. That's 90 points in, in, in the first half of both games combined. That's stupid. And then Nichols with a bullet. I mean, my gosh, Anderson. He's like, yo, I should be playing. I'm going to let off some frustration. Yo, you receivers better have stick them on them fingers because I'm about to let these things fly. So third down and three. Anderson looking down. Field and Parham did not want to do is any solids by dropping or catching the football. He did drop the football, which not a good look. Holloway makes the catch, but he's going to be shy of the first down. But now Andy Moore is shaking up. Everybody's getting hurt today. I don't like that. Walker, he's going to keep it. And Walker, he's going to pick up a decent game. Third down and one. Looking for Jones over the middle. He forgot his hands on the sideline. Fourth down and one now. Yes, we're up by a crazy amount. I'm going to go for it now. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're by midfield, okay? We're by midfield. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. We're going to get sacked, though. Anderson, you got to pick yourself up and try and try again on the next possession. They get the ball to work, man, and he's going to work his way upfield for a first down. First down and 10. They're going to go with the – oh, my gosh, Shafana. You did not have to bury my man six feet under like it just did. Dead. My goodness gracious, this defense is full of hitters. First down and 10. Walker going to try to turn the corner, and he does. It takes two final line out to bring him down. Second down and eight now for Anderson, and Anderson gets dropped. So it's going to be third down now. We're going to roll out. We got Nicholson chilling in the end zone. You love to see it. You cannot leave any receiver open. We love to run the football here with the Hoosiers, but we got athletes at the receiver position as well. Whenever you think you might have something going, please believe me, you don't. You don't have anything going. You really, really don't. We're gonna run the ball with Barnes, and Barnes is down that left sideline. And Barnes is gonna get up past the 45, and that's gonna take us to the fourth quarter of play. They're down by 56. We're gonna run that thing on walking yet again. We're gonna run that ball, run that ball, and run that ball some more because it is really time to milk the clock. Like, it's really, really, really time. Parham, he's still in the ball game. Picks up a block by Jones, and he's gonna fall backwards, which is forwards, and that's gonna result in a first down. Third down and seven, Nicholson. Yep, he's an end zone again. You guessed it, another touchdown, 73 
to 10 is the score work man he gets the reception in the flat and yo this team's still fighting you love to see it you love to see it don't give up on the game don't give up on life but it is time to call this one a wrap because they would not pick up another first down and we will milk the clock from there so Miller's going to be out for the next three weeks, so he's not going to be here for the Penn State game, not going to be here for the Purdue game, but he should be back for our bowl game. Where would that bowl game be? I don't know. Most likely, we're going to need a conference championship uh, favorite to lose. Like, I believe, I believe that, I believe the year that we went to the national championship, Miami, I believe they lost in that, the, the, the conference championship game. And yeah, I believe I believe that's what happened. I can't remember for sure, but I believe that's what happened. So probably something like that is gonna have to happen. Maybe a team might just lose in the regular season and that will help us out. But could we actually be a two-loss team that makes it all the way to the national championship? That would be a crazy look. We should be on pace right now to win the Big Ten. I'm gonna check that out probably our next episode to wrap things up for this season. But that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.